Hey guys, this is Vincent Rain here with a tutorial video about uh, what has to do with uh, the Mugen program. Um, has to do with like if you get a character from the web and you want to put them on, you know, your Mugen program, then this will explain how to do that. All right, so first, let me start off by. Starting up the game first. I'll be on the screen here. Had to be a little loud here. Oh, it takes a while to load. But, um, basically, um, the character I'm going to be using, her name is, uh, oh, what was her name? Well, in this, she's called Lele. L-E-I dash L-E-I. Oh, uh, it's not her actual name. I forgot what her name is. She's on Marvel's Capcom 3. Oh, Sinko, there we go. Sinko, however you want to call her. That's who it is. So, that's the character I'm going to be trying, oh, well, I will be putting on the moving program. She's not that great of a character, but she was at the front. Uh, check this moving out. Different than all the other stuff. Courtesy of a guy named Roberto actually made this particular version of moving. Very well done. Yeah, and there are more than 190 fighters I have. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'll go to arcade. It's like, bam! Look at all these characters. Yeah, you're looking at like I don't know, around 200 plus characters. I think I haven't counted through, so I don't know. Okay, so. Yeah, I took the character out because now the order's a little bit messed up because when I took her out, I forgot to add in the blank space, which is what you're supposed to do. Otherwise, you know, this whole entire little order thing gets kind of jumbled. So now Ryu is like in, you know, the character display box and he's not supposed to be there. Uh, Sainko is supposed to be, I think, like at the upper left, I believe. So, alright, so we're going to go to this screen. Wait, let me exit out the game because the mouse won't even appear while the game is up. Okay. Well, yeah, Mugen works best, like, um, without another program running that takes up, like, a lot of uh, CPU. Like, for a while my uh, Mugen wouldn't come up if I had iTunes going. It wouldn't even bother trying to come up. Because they both take out, take up a good amount of uh, CPU strength. Okay. Alright, so what you will do... Oh, you got the character. You know, you got her... Whatever. Normally you're in a folder format. You know, normally either you download them in their folder or you have to, you know, they're in a zip file. Or whatever computer you may have uses whatever format files they are in. Um, what you're gonna do is let's see. This is the root folder for uh, the Mugen that I have, but each each Mugen will have a root folder. Normally, you'll see uh, these, all of these things here. So all these are normally the same, and then you'll have you know the exe file to start it. But you go to the character file, click on that, and then you have the different characters here. Uh, actually, let's find out how many characters I have right now. Yes, that's how many characters I have. 228 characters. That's a lot. Alright, so, uh, let's see, where is... Oh, okay. 
this is the character that I have. I already have the folder in there. You know, Jag dropped it from wherever I got it from. Um, this Mugen only at first didn't have that many characters. Yeah, like I said, it had 190 fighters. Um, there was another Mugen that had every single character that was made, I think, up to whenever that file, whenever that Mugen, whenever that person made that Mugen program. Um, that included Joe characters and whatnot. What I did, I took the character that actually seemed like legit. I went through every single character. It literally took me like a week to go through every single character in that list. And uh, try them all out and see, you know, if they were balanced or anything like that for the most part. And I took out the broken like characters from the Mugen that I already had, which was the one that you just saw. And I took all characters that seemed like broken or OP to me. And I replaced them and then added in the extra characters seemed balanced out. So I have a pretty balanced Mugen. There are some things where, you know, I guess seem like I guess the only problem I have with some of the characters that do seem a little bit uh, overpowered. It's not even that they're overpowered, it's just their hitboxes probably are like too big or something like that. But anyways, back to this. So yeah, this character, put them in the character file, whatever you get the folder from. Alright, you go back, and then what you do, you go to, every movement should have a data file, or a data folder within the root folder of uh, Mugen. If it doesn't, then just look um, look for yeah look for um, if we can figure out what they call it but yeah look for this uh, yeah alright this is your select text file that's what it is alright you're gonna open that up it goes to this, and what you have here, is a list of all of the characters represented in lines. Like, this is all the first row, and then each line means row. I don't know if your particular Mugen would exactly be set up this way. Uh, this is the way this person already had it set up. I didn't modify anything but putting in characters and adding in or taking out these blanks. This is what I didn't add in at the beginning. I showed you that there was like Ryu. He was up into the select, uh, character select display. And that's because when I took the character out, I didn't add in the blank, you know, the blank space. So everything moved the second uh, sign code was took out, taken out. So, what you're going to do is, normally, you have a whole bunch of these, like if you get a Mugen that's new, or you probably won't have any at all. Um, normally what you'll do is you'll take out one of these lines and replace them with this. Yeah, so I'm gonna put mine in right now. I had to copy and paste because. Alright. You type in. This is gonna be the name of the folder, not the character file, because that could be whatever, but the actual name of the folder that holds in all the data. Um, once you get that in. The rest doesn't really matter so much. All this is, is if you're pointing to like arcade mode, then this is what like, for instance, if I'm playing through arcade mode, then there's a chance that on the fifth person I get to, it might be her. Uh, I, haven't, I don't think I've ever faced her yet, but then again, it's going to 225 to 28 different characters. Uh, I'll have, you know, the number five on them. Yeah, well, there's two off the back, three. Yeah, so. And then this is the stage that are also going to be on. Um, me, I have, shoot, I think I have like three or four hundred different stages. So, yeah, the, 
a lot. So, you'll put the name of the character, you'll follow that with stages, and then the back dash, the name of whatever stage they're going to be on. The easiest thing to do is, like, if you don't know the names of all the stages, then, you know, any movie you download is going to have, like, even, like, the most basic one has that Kung Fu Man, and it's going to have his thing, like, just like this. So... You just copy whatever stage he's on, there's going to be, you know, the .def already there. And then order equals, and then whatever number you want. Uh, that number really doesn't matter. But knowing the lower it is, I guess, the better chance of facing them. Alright, and so after you do that, you're going to want to save this file. Save it. Okay, and so... Thank you. Alright, so I'll open the program again. Shoot, I forgot to turn the volume back down before I started it. Uh, yeah, for this particular Mugen, I, don't know, I, think it, I think it's the same issue with all Mugens. You cannot change the volume while in the game. So best thing is, like, press, you know, this button right here. That way it won't exit out the game, but it'll also... I want to exit off the game, but it'll take you back to the desktop, and then you can just lower or up the volume from there. It also acts as a pause button, since movements don't have an actual in-game pause. So, that works out as well. Okay, I already saw that. Alright, let's go to this. Oh, lo and behold. There she is. She's called Lele, but we all know, know her as Sanko, especially since she was on Marvel's Capcom 3, which I think everybody and their little brother play. Well, that's interesting in fighting games anyways. So yeah, pretty much I did that with all of these characters. Well, about 90% of these characters you see here. There are characters that are hidden as well. Uh, wait, he's not hidden. You can see them. They're down there. But there's a hidden area, which is right here. Uh, freaking, there it is. Yeah, you don't see me down there or there. It's like in the background. But, yeah. It's just these two, because they're like the boss characters of this game. Uh, he's the hardest. The reason why, like, he's OP. But the reason why I didn't really, I didn't take him out because, like, he's the boss character. The only time you ever face him is, like, a one in five chance of actually, you know, beating the game all the way through. So yeah, that's how you put uh, characters on Mugen.